Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do that weekend reading. Hey, hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all you beautiful women out there in the collective. Hope you guys have an amazing Mother's Day weekend. Hope you guys get everything that you guys wanted. You guys deserve it. Treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Just have fun. Even if you don't go anywhere, guys, just have fun and celebrate Mother's Day weekend. Alrighty, guys, especially those of you who still have your mothers in your lives because you guys know that I'm always sad around this time of the year because I lost my mom um, two years ago when I first moved to Texas. So... I'm sad, but I'm happy, but sad, but happy. Because I'm like, I'm still here. The boys need me, you know. So I'm like, Ash, I'm like, just stay positive. Think positive. Be positive. So I had my moment this morning, but I'm good now. But I just wanted to say happy Mother's Day to all you beautiful women out there. My body guys, the top in. That'd be great. Let's see what's going on this weekend. As always, sending you guys lots of love, light, healing energy, and love of abundance. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So, I'm doing a Mother's Day giveaway. I'll be doing a promotion on my website over the weekend. I'm just not sure yet um, what I'm going to promote or if I'm going to do, like, a Mother's Day package for you ladies. Um, but um, I'm going to be doing, like, a $50 um, gift card giveaway, and then I'm going to be giving away a free reading. I'll put all the information in the community tab. So, make sure you guys um, stay notified, you know. You guys are hitting that bell so you guys know when I do post or upload it, okay? Um, I'm trying to think of what I want to do, how I want to do it. So, I'll be posting that over the weekend. Alrighty, ladies. So, let's hop in, guys. Let's see what's going on with the collective for the weekend. Damn, I forgot. One more announcement. I'm super sorry, guys. Don't be mad at me. Um, the protection box is now available on my website. Yes. So you guys have to go to mytears.feelmyheart.com. You guys can go to my Facebook or my IG as Fire Intuition. Or you guys can just um, go to the online shop, mytears.feelmyheart.com for more information. I don't know why I got stuck with that. All right. So this is what the box looks like. I'm not going to go over what's inside the box because I don't want to take that away from the reading, you know, the time because it might take me, you know, like about five minutes to go over everything. But this is what the box looks like, guys. All righty. And they're now available on the website. So now we can officially hop in. All right, guys. Let's see. Spirit of the Universe messages for the collective for the weekend. Today is May 7th through the 9th. Damn, cards are flying out everywhere. All right. Let's see the energy for the weekend. Messages for the weekend. All right, let's see collective weekend energy. What's going on with the collective for the weekend? We have the three of wands, the six of wands. Uh oh, the king of swords and the nine of wands. So you're going to be hearing from someone, all right? Um, maybe for some of you guys, someone that you haven't spoke to in a while, kind of bond, they're kind of guarded, or like you kind of like just haven't been really dealing with them. But they're going to speak up and say something, probably wish you a happy Mother's Day. But the weekend does look good with the three of wands, six of wands. It looks like you guys are going to be happy, celebrating, going out, you know, doing stuff for a lot of you guys. So that does look good for the Mother's Day weekend. So that's great. So let's see why this Nine of Wands is here. Let's see. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Going to the Nine of Wands for the collective for the weekend. Six of Wands. Yeah, someone's going to finally reach out. Communication is coming in over the weekend. Two of Wands. Yeah. Someone is going to reach out, but then someone wants to talk about this relationship. This is someone that thought they could move on, but they couldn't or they can't. And with the King of Swords, you have definitely been on their mind a lot lately. They've been thinking about you. They could have thought the grass was green on the other side, but it wasn't. The Two of Cups keeps coming up as I'm shuffling, so a lot of soulmate energy here. Um, with the Two of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, wow, Nine of Pentacles, Lovers. For some of you guys, this was somebody that you guys wanted to date and you wanted things to move forward in the past. 
And I feel like there could have been something in the way of that. Or they were just taking too long with the Knight of Pentacles. This person is coming back now, seeing one available and ready to date you. The Wheel of Fortune is there with the lovers. So, like, they're ready now. But in the past, maybe they just weren't ready. But I'm, I just, I keep getting, like, the messages I'm getting, what I'm telling is someone, someone thought they can move on from you and they can't. Okay, they thought they could move on, but they can't. And they're going to be reaching out to you guys. So communication is coming in over the weekend. All right, um, give me one second, guys. I have an important call to take. Give me one sec. All right, I'm sorry about that, guys. I had to take a very important phone call. So like I was saying, someone is going to reach out. Communication is coming in. I do want to pull some messages to kind of see um, where this King of Swords energy is at. Um, this can be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. It can be any sign. But this is someone that is like, they've been ready to talk to you or they're ready to talk to you. They're finally ready to say something. I'm not going to say that they're just reaching out to you because it's Mother's Day weekend. I feel like it's, I don't know, because I don't feel like they're doing it just because like it's Mother's Day weekend. Because I know all of you guys aren't mothers. But I feel like they feel like this is the time. Like this weekend is the time or I don't know why they want to reach out this weekend. So let me just see what the energy of the King of Swords is. Let's see, the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? When it comes to the King of Swords, what is the King of Swords energy? Because this is really good energy, but it seems like... Let me see. I'm so many. I'm going into here. I'm going to write my wrongs. Okay, focus on your goals. Not because of me. So that's what I feel like what happened. You guys start focusing on your goals. You guys start just focusing on you. You guys are making boss moves, doing you, whatever. Or that's what you guys have been doing. And you kind of like let this go. And communication is coming in. All right? Um, I feel like for some of you guys, you found out they were talking to someone else. Okay? Or they're like, dang, you're talking to someone else. That's what they want to know. Okay? This person was dealing with a karmic soulmate connection at the time. And we have, babe, I'm buying candles and sage. You really got me manifesting. So you really got this person manifesting. You got this person buying sage, lighting candles. I feel like this person has even like been looking into like, I'm, I'm hearing like crystals are just like different type of sprays, stuff like that. This person is really trying to cleanse their energy, their space. They were caught up or wrapped up in a karmic situation or they were caught up with a karmic soulmate. And it looks like that cycle has come to a completion. It has come to an ending because now they're moving forward. They're showing up as the king of swords and they have really positive energy around them. Okay. Um, and we have the answer is yes. This also could be an earth sign or you can be an earth sign. Okay. And then we have water energy. So somebody has really been grounding their energy. Okay, staying grounded, like I said, um, just, I don't know, if it's you or them, I feel like someone's also like just getting Reiki or cleansing their space or, you know, like into their crystals now or someone's doing something, like someone's like more spiritual than they were before, okay? Um, but they were caught up in some type of karmic cycle, some type of karmic situation. So let's see if we can get more information on that because we yeah, have, I'm feeling insecure and I'm going to right my wrongs. Someone wants to come back and right their wrongs with you, but they were feeling insecure. Where it says, I'm feeling insecure, I feel like they were. I don't see them as still feeling insecure. I feel like they were. They they aren't. I feel like they were because the King of Swords is in the upright. The King of Swords in the upright is not, like, that's not, they're not insecure. They're very confident, okay? It's the King of Swords. So, we have, I'm going to right my wrongs, I'm feeling insecure. So, someone wanted to right their wrongs. Someone needed to go back and, like, confront their past, heal their past, and heal this karmic soulmate connection. So I'm going to go into the Karmic Soulmate card and see what this is about. We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, they were dealing with a Karmic Soulmate. There was a lot of conflict, tension, fights, arguments there. In that situation, let's see. Knight of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords here. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Go to the Knight of Swords. Eight of Pentacles reverse. okay? That situation is done and over with. Eight of Pentacles reverse. They moved on. They moved away from that situation. That's done, okay? So now that this Karmic Soulmate connection has ended... This person has been righting their wrongs, okay? They're a little bit more spiritual. They're working on themselves. And they have communication coming in this weekend. For some of you, the communication is going to be different than it has ever been because this person is just in a different energy, a different vibration, okay? Um, only other way that I'm seeing this is if this is new love that's coming in, okay? You have a new love around you. But your past has you feeling insecure about moving forward. And the reason why I'm saying you is because the past keeps coming back as if they're going to do right by you, okay? But you've been focusing on yourself, your goals, like I said, your business, your money, all of that, okay? You've been focused, 
but they come in every now and then to distract you. And that's what the Knight of Swords will do if this is a karmic soulmate. This is nothing but a distraction, okay? So a lot of you guys do have new love around you, but it's like the past or like a karmic soulmate comes in and distracts you every now and then. And it has you feeling insecure, you know, at times. Why does it have you feeling insecure? I'm not sure, but I feel like it has you feeling insecure because I feel like a part of you really wanted that relationship to work out. You were devastated probably when you, you like realized like, dang, this is a karmic soulmate. You know, sometimes karmic soulmates can work out, but it's just a lot of work. It's a lot. And it's karmic. So that means it's always something. Okay? So with the eight of wands here and judgment, seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, that's what they do. They come back. They want to start things back up with you. And then it just never goes nowhere. But this time around, I feel like you're like, no, I'm talking to someone else now. Okay? If that is the case. But for others of you, this is someone that is reaching out. Communication is coming in. All right? So let's break down this King of Swords. And let's see what this is about. I'm going to try to see what I can... Um, I'm going to try to see if I can figure out, like, you know, what they want to talk about. We're going to go kind of, like, into that. So let's see. This King of Swords here. Why is the King of Swords here? The Five of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles. All right? They're going to tell you that they gave into the wrong people wrong things. Six of Pentacles, Five of Cups. They regret what they did to you. They also regret just not communicating with you. Okay? So this is someone that was just in regrets, drowning in their emotions, in a bad place, needing to walk away from things emotionally. They kept going back to situations that were unsatisfying. Okay? Where there was a lack of love, unrequited love, but in the Page of Swords is here. And they blocked all this out. So it's interesting because you and this person... Whoever this person is coming back around, both of you guys have blocked out like the past or have blocked out your past, okay? You're moving on. You're focusing on your new beginnings, okay? You guys may be talking to someone else, like I said. They are, you know, blocking out people, blocking out distractions, confronting their past, ending a karmic soulmate connection, all of that. And with the king of cups, this person is ready for love. Not saying that they didn't love you before, but it's like they're ready to like show and give you the love that you were looking for in the past. King of Cups is here. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse with the Two of Cups and the Will of Fortune. They feel like it's the right time. For some of you guys, this is a divine soulmate connection, okay? The problem and the issue was they weren't ready. They were closed and blocked emotionally, and so are you. There was a lack of self-love, okay? Insecurities in this relationship. This was where you guys were mirroring each other. Okay, so both you guys had your doubts, both you guys were insecure in some type of way, both you guys were lacking self-love, both you guys were needing to walk away from past issues, people, places, things that hurt you, that broke you, you know, or that just blocked you emotionally. With the Queen of Cups reverse, Ace of Cups reverse, some of you guys became very codependent to this person, being with this person, wanting to be with this person, you know, and they were caught up in a situation and it just like it just wasn't fair you know so when you met them it's like you really wanted to be with them and you just you saw the future you saw this new beginning with them you saw the future everything but what was blocking and stopping you guys was a karmic soulmate okay but you guys both came into each other's life to to teach each other this lesson so both of you guys had like like issues that you guys were dealing with emotionally okay mentally physically spiritually okay and i'm not trying to call anybody out i'm not i'm not saying like you were like Oh, you're just an emotional wreck. You were broken. No, but some of you guys were like needed to walk away from childhood trauma. You know, father issues, mother issues, issues with like your exes are just a lack of love that you have for yourself. The lack of self-love are just suppressing your emotions and feelings, you know, are just upset because everybody that comes into your life, you love them and you give so much, but you feel like you never receive the love. You know, you guys are mirroring each other in some type of way. Whatever it was you guys are going through, you guys were mirroring each other. Okay. And it's like the universe separated you guys. They, this person cut off communication with you, okay? And now this person is coming back around and they want to talk to you. They've, they've um, righted their wrongs, okay? I feel like this person is even in a different space, okay? Meaning like the person that they're coming back as, you're going to be a little shocked, okay? And like I said, I don't want to repeat it. But they thought they could move on from you and they couldn't. They can't. Like, and you've been on the back of their mind ever since the breakup, separation, whatever. Okay? I'm also feeling like whoever this is for some of you guys, okay, this deep down inside this person was a good person, but they just had some shit going on. 
Okay? They just were dealing with something. They had some shit going on. Whoever this person was. All right? So they're killing the past. Or they're coming like they're coming out of a heavy energy. But it was like a, a like it, everything they were dealing with was emotional. Okay? Everything. And I feel like for both you guys, every loss you guys took, every ill you took was because you guys were helping, supporting, giving to someone else. But now you guys are like focused on yourselves, your life, your self-love, like just self-care, all that. And all that is changing. Okay? And now they feel like the timing is right. They feel like you guys are a good match. They feel like you guys both are like, you know, in a good, good space. They feel like you guys are both in a good place to like move forward, you know. But I feel like they're not going to come straight in like, look, I want to be with you. Let's hook up, whatever. But they are going to reach out to you. You know, they want to talk to you. They want to communicate. They want to see what's going on, what you've been up to, what's going on with you. So let's see. What is this? What What is this King of Swords going to talk about? We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have Judgment in Reverse. The Fool in Reverse. So they do want to talk about the past and how they messed up and how they weren't ready. The Knight of Pentacles is here. Um, they also are going to tell you like that they changed. They turned their life around. Because the Knight of Pentacles is someone like, you know, that is crossing their T's, dotting their I's. They're going to tell you with the Knight of Pentacles and the Judgment card in reverse, you know, that they learned from their past mistakes. They learned, you know, like they, they learned their lesson. They were just caught up in a karmic situation. And they, they may even talk about the other person, but I don't even feel like they want to talk about that other person. Honestly. All right, let's see. Why is Judgment in reverse? Because I don't feel like they want to talk about this karmic soulmate. Yeah, Ace of Swords. They're going to be honest and truthful with you about certain things that they weren't telling you about. Um... They're going to tell you with the Empress how they always thought that you guys had some connection and you were the person that was supposed to be in their life. If they have children with someone else, they're going to tell you like, you know, like you were the person I should have children with. Or if they were married and, you know, they went through a divorce, whatever they're going through, they're going to be like, you, you know, I should have married you. You're the person I should have married. You're the person I want to marry. It's going to be stuff like that, you know, but I don't think that this person is going to be like, you know, like, I miss you, like. Let's hook up and set up a date this weekend or something. No, but I feel like they're finally going to reach out and it's going to be so unexpected. It is. It's going to be very. Oh, shit. I, oh, no. These are the cards that we have up here. It's going to be very unexpected. Okay. Is what I'm getting. Someone is talking to someone else or could be talking to someone else. So let's see why. It's, so you're talking to someone else here. The Magician in Reverse and the Ten of Swords. And that's what happened. That's where. So that's where it all like. So that's what made things end because they were talking to someone else. They were in that karmic situation, all right, that, with that karmic soulmate, okay? Now, their energy towards a karmic soulmate, let's kind of look into that really quick. The Hermit, the Nine of Cups, and the Four of Swords. It was fun while I lasted, and I'm not going to say it was fun, but it's like they had their moments. But this person, after they thought about it, they're not really happy with that person. They thought they were because the Nine of Cups is in between the Hermit and the Four of Swords. This is sadness and depression here, you know, so I'm... They can be happy or they could have been getting something out of the situation. Okay. They were getting some type of fulfillment, but it wasn't worth the stress and the depression and everything they were going through with this person. Yep. See, look, the nine of swords, four of swords came out twice. They were really stressed. Okay. Some of them could have even like lost weight. Some of them could have gained weight. Some of them may come back even looking a little different, talking different. And it's not because of that. It's just like they just went through a lot. Even when I go into the hermit, yellow yeah, three of swords with the karmic situation. So this was like a headache. It was a lot of stress and depression in that situation. A lot of heartbreak. I will say that the karmic broke them down. So it's like the karmic broke them down, but it was for their best. It was it was for their best and highest good. Because the karmic broke them down for them to rebuild themselves up. Alright? So yeah. They were. And, of course, it was a karmic situation. So, of course, the Nine of Cups is going to be there. Because it has to look it has to look good somewhere. That's how the karmic relationships are. It looks good on the outside. But on the inside, it's a living nightmare. You know? It's hell for some of you guys. You know? But let's just see um, what their energy is like um, over the weekend. I read our old text messages. So, this person has been reading you guys' messages. We have vacation. You guys could have went on some type of vacation or took a vacation um, in the past. And they could be looking back at like, oh, um, pictures. I'm here on a cruise. For some of you guys, you went on a cruise. Are you guys were like by the water? Yeah. Um, for some of you guys, this could be a twin flame connection. Okay. Um, yeah, because we have I moved away so no one can find me. 
Okay, so for some of you guys, this could be a twin flame connection. And this can be like what happened. Like they moved away. Okay, and you can find them. You didn't know how to reach them. They weren't talking to you, communicating with you. All right, for some of you guys, you guys probably were in communication. But they just haven't been really telling you certain things or, you know, keeping you up to date on like what's really going on in their life. Yeah, look, look what came back out. Twin flame. We have twin flame that came back out. And we have our connection is crazy. So I feel like you guys have a strong connection. I feel like the connection is crazy. And I feel like this person used to feel lost without you. And we have soulmate here. So in the past, it's like they did realize they did recognize the connection. They saw it as a soulmate connection. I feel like in the past, um, when they met you, it's like you were the first person, like I said, to like ever make like I feel like you guys would talk and it'll be like, there's something about you, and there's I I never felt like this between you know before with anyone else. And I feel like you even introduced like the soulmate twin flame thing to them. Okay, but like I told you guys, like I told you guys, don't get caught up and wrapped up in that twin flame energy, okay? Because everybody does not have a twin flame, okay? You have more than one soulmate in your life, yes, okay? You have more than one karmic soulmate in your life, yes. You can, a karmic soulmate could be a friend, it can even be your child, your mother, your father. A soulmate could be your child, mother, father, hell, the man at the 7-Eleven, okay? If you're, like, if you guys have past life energy, okay, if y'all believe in past lives, okay, with someone... How could I put it? For some of you guys, you guys have soulmate and karmic soulmate connections with like family, friends, of course, lovers, some people that you don't even know, okay? Um, karmic people can be even like, for example, I would not ever forget this. I was in Arizona and I went to the Walmart and I got in the line. I was in the, uh, okay, so when we first walked in the store, this girl was looking me up and down and she was a cashier and I'm like, what the fuck is her problem? And like, immediately I felt triggered as fuck by her and I remember I was with Connor's dad at the time and I was telling him and I was like I don't know what her problem is I was just like talking shit I ain't gonna lie y'all I'm like I don't even know what her problem is I'm like why she keeps staring at me and every time I swear I looked up in the Walmart she was right there and I'm like isn't she a fucking cashier why is she like following us around Walmart so like that so it was very interesting that I went to. I always go to the self checkout. I don't give a damn if I got eighty things in my basket. Somebody just gonna have to wait. I just prefer to go through self checkout. That's just me. Everybody has their preference. That's me. And that day, self checkout, the line was nuts. And I was pregnant too. And I was just like, I was like, I was like, all right, let's go get in line. So there was another lady that was cashiering. And so when it got to me, we had already put our groceries up on the, um, on a little thing. She comes to the cash register, I guess, and did something to print a receipt. And she was a cashier. And she's like looking at me weird and staring me down. And so then Connor's dad looks and he's like, yeah, what's her problem? You know, like, why is she looking at you like that? And I swear, like, I don't know if you guys ever felt like this before I ever felt this, but I can just feel like, I felt like our souls was just like fighting with each other. And the energy was so tense and so heavy that I just was like, I was like, do I know you? And she was like, no. And I was like, I was like, cause I was like, I feel very like bothered. I was like, um, ever since I walked in the store, I've been feeling very uncomfortable. I said, I really feel like just walking out. I said, but I'm not going to do that. Cause all my groceries are up here. You pretty much have rang up all my groceries. And so she was like, I was, she was like, I was thinking the same thing. I, she was like, I don't know. You like, you gave me a look. And I was like, what? And she was like, she was like, you gave me a look. And I was like, I didn't give you a look. But then I had to think like, in order for me to know she gave me a look, I had to give her a look. Right? So I know guys, I'm about to hurry up with the story. So then it's like, I forgot what she, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I used to crave Tahitian treat when I was pregnant with Connor. And so she scanned it. And it fell on the floor. Like, I feel like she just scared it and, like, let it drop. And I was like, you did that on purpose, didn't you? I was like, you knew I wanted that. I was like, why would you drop my, um, I was like, why would you drop my pop? And she was like, what are you, what are you talking about? I said, why would you drop my pop? Because, like, my mom is from Michigan. And so my family, they always say pop over soda. And she was like, excuse me. I said, why did you drop my soda? Because, like, that's how I was talking to her. And then after the fact, she, she, um, she gave it to me. Like, she put it up there. And she's like, you know what? She's like, I'm sorry. She's like, I apologize. She was like, I don't know what it is between us. She was like, but she was like, she's like, I'm going to just take it off your um, thing and go get you a new one. And then all of a sudden when she came back, like, I don't know why I laughed. Like, we both laughed as if, like, nothing ever happened. You know what I'm saying? So it was this weird how, like, I was so triggered by her. 
But then it was just like reconciled before I walked out the store. And like to this day, I always be asking myself, like, why did I even go through that experience? Like, what was that about? Like, what made me just like snap and just go off on this lady that I don't even know? Why is she getting smart? Why is she dropping my pop? Like, why is she doing this? Why is she doing that? Why is she every day where I'm at in the store? And I be asking myself sometimes, I'd be like, you know what? Was she really everywhere I was looking? Or did I just think I saw her everywhere I was looking? Because when I went to the front, she was cashiering. Like when, I, when we came in. I don't know. It's weird, guys. But I brought that up. I know you guys are like, Ash, what's the point? So I brought that up because I was just going to say that sometimes when you guys meet a karmic person or like when you guys have karmic energy with someone from a past life, you instantly feel triggered. Or sometimes you instantly don't like that person and you don't have a reason why you don't like that person. Or you may see somebody and just like feel bothered or like look at something. You're like, Ugh. And that's because your soul recognizes that that person's soul, their energy. And it's a karmic energy. But when it comes to love and a love interest and someone that we like love and care about, it pulls us and it's harder. So like when you guys have a karmic relationship with your kids, of course you can't just give up on your kids. So it's like you, like you go through so much. The karmic energy is tense. It's very heavy. You know, when you're with a love interest and you're in love with them, it's different. Because a girl at Walmart, I mean, not to say it like this, like, I don't know her from sugar to salt. So, if I would have left and even if we didn't laugh and reconcile it, I would have just thought, oh, well, fuck her. You know, at the end of the day, she just somebody at Walmart that work at Walmart. It wouldn't have bothered me, but it bothered me then. So, there must have been something there. Something I wasn't seeing. You know, something that I didn't get. You know, or like I said, maybe our souls recognize each other. But the karmic energy pulls you in because it triggers what bothered you between you and that person or what's bothering you between you and that person. And maybe I didn't like her in the past life. Maybe she didn't like me. You know, maybe we didn't like each other. I don't know. And that's before I was like really into like my spirituality. That was before I was into like tarot and all that type of stuff. So now that I brought that up to you guys, I forgot about that. I'm going to really sit down and like meditate on that and ask, like ask the universe like what that was about. Like what the message was in that situation. But again, I'm only saying that to say that karmic energy will pull you in. Karmic energy triggers you. And when it comes to love, the karmic energy looks good on the outside. And then, like I said, it's hell on the inside. Okay? This person knew that you guys had a connection. And I was telling you guys not to get caught up all up in the twin flame energy. And the reason why I'm saying that is because for every person, say if it's 10,000 people that watch this video, maybe only five or six people are in a twin flame connection. Everyone is not meant or has a twin flame connection. But this person knew that there was something about you guys. And you would bring up like soulmate twin flame energy. They would start Googling it, looking on it, you know, karmic. And I also feel like you guys even told this person like, look, you're like, your person is karmic. Your person is toxic. Your person is this and that. And they didn't want to believe you. But that nine of cups here is that karmic energy looking good on the outside, pulling them in. And they're like, no, nah, it's not karmic. No, it's not karmic. No, we're just going through something. You know, or they could have chose that person over you, whatever it may have been, okay? But I just wanted to share that part with you guys because, like, a lot of people think that, like, when you guys book a reading, they'll come to me and they'll be like, Ash, they'll be like, I, um, like, like, this is my only soulmate. And I'm like, what? I'm like, no, you have more than one soulmate. They're like, yeah, but, you know, our, like, sometimes, and I'm not judging nobody. I'm not judging any reader. I'm not judging anybody. Nobody. So don't. Take a fix when I say this, but some people will come to me and book a reading. They're like, oh, I listened to this reading. I listened to this reader or I got a reading for someone else. And they told me I had to be with my soul. I mean, my twin flame and I had to wait and I had to do this and I had to do that. And I had to deal with their problems and their issues. And I had to do this because it's a twin and they got the other half of my soul and this bullshit. And that's just how I feel. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And I'm just going to let that go. And anybody that has ever booked a twin flame reading with me knows that I have not ever said that. And I will not ever say that. Okay. Because life and time waits for no fucking body. Twin flame or not. And that's just how I feel. And that's how I feel in my life in general. Like I'm not I'm not gonna stop evolving, growing, and doing what I gotta do and be in my best, be in my like being the best version of myself for nobody. Twin flame, soulmate, karmic, whoever. You know? And I'm not saying it like that, like, oh, like I like I can just hop in and out of situations, but no. I just and I don't know if it, I, I just got that from my mom because that's like how my mom was. Like my mom was like, I, my mom used to always tell me life and time waits for nobody. 
She was like, never let anyone hold you back, set you back. She will always just tell me in my brother's time and life waits for nobody. And that's just how I always felt, you know? So do not get caught up in that and like, oh, you have to deal with this, you have to deal with that, and you have to deal with their, their karmic situation. And no, no, you do not. You can always free yourself at any time. You have free will, and you can do what the fuck you want to do, okay? And when people are like, oh, if it's, for, it's not for the weak, you're strong when you walk away. You're strong when you think about yourself. You're strong when you keep your shit together, focus on yourself, and take care of you, your priorities, your children, focus on your job, your home, your foundation. You're strong by doing all that. What's weak to me is holding on and letting somebody drag you. But that's my opinion. And like I said, my opinion, and I'm just going to leave it there, okay? But I see it all the time. I see it every day. I even hear it sometimes, you know, um, like I said, when you guys come to me for personal. So, anyway, going back to this energy. I used to feel lost without you. This person used to feel lost without you. Okay, you are a soulmate. You guys have a twin flame soulmate connection. I'm going to say twin flame slash soulmate because for some of you guys, this is a twin flame connection. For some of you guys, this is a soulmate connection. Okay, and this person used to feel lost without you. You used to feel lost without them at some point in time. But you guys have both outgrew that energy. Neither one of you guys are feeling lost without each other. And that's how this relationship can grow and evolve. And that is part of the reason why they're coming back into your life. And the universe is setting this back up to see if there actually is a chance for you guys to move forward. Okay. So, just closing out, we look, we have the high priestess. Both of you guys are aware of the connection, okay? Someone could have been in denial of the connection, or did they just weren't sure the connection, or what the connection was. Like I said, whether they're twin flame or soulmate. So, either way it goes, whoever's listening to this reading, they're not a, this person that's coming back is not a karmic. They're either a twin flame or a soulmate, okay? Some of you guys know um, who they are to you, whether they're a twin flame or soulmate. All right, um, eight of pentacles, and I feel like at the time they were not ready to build and grow with you, they were not ready to build that empire with you, they were not ready to man up, they weren't ready to fully commit to you. But now they're willing to come back and make and put the effort into the relationship, and they're going to be willing to do whatever it takes. But I will say that this is something that's going to move forward, but it's like the king of swords thinks everything through, okay? The king of swords is not going to just jump straight into something, all right? It's air energy. That means this person has thought it through and they are thinking it through right now or just it's on their mind. It's in their head. They made a decision. But with this nine of pentacles here, it's telling me they want to take action and do things the right way. Crossing their T's, dotting their I's. This is someone that wants to seriously commit to you. OK, so if they they're going to come in like, oh, let's go on dates. Let's do this. Let's do that. They're going to do things differently. OK, in the back in the past, if they wanted to Netflix and chill, now they're going to be making reservations. Okay, if they were being cheap and inviting nothing, now you're going to be getting gifts on every holiday. It's like they're because they, they manned up. They're different. Their energy is different. They're coming up as a king of swords. They, they want to right their wrong. So they didn't thought of everything that they were doing wrong and they want to make it right. And they want to do it differently. All right. That's what I do like about the king of swords being here. Look, the knight of pentacles came back out on the king of swords. Look, three of cups. They want to celebrate, see you, take you out, do things, date. Okay. So, I should do an extended to see how this will unfold, but I have to upload the rest of the contents, and it's Mother's Day weekend, I have a lot going on, I have to do some personals, so I'm just going to pull some Romance Angels, and then that will be the reading, but for those of you that were listening to my Walmart story, um, hopefully I didn't confuse you guys and I brought it up, but if you guys like, were re-listening to it, tell me what you think that was about. Okay, because like I said, I haven't, like I, that, did, like I haven't, you know how like something happens in your life and you don't think about it at all? And I don't know what made me think about it during this reading. I don't know. I don't know what made me think about it during this reading, but I just thought about it. And I was pregnant with Connor at the time. And Connor will be five um, in July, July the 21st. So I got me like a little Cancer Leo cuss, my little spoiled little man, my little big boy. All right, so let's see. Messages for this person coming back. Wow, look. This could be the wisdom. This could be the one. Let me stop acting. Look, romantic feelings. So they still have romantic feelings for you. And they feel like you could be the one. Okay? Some of you guys already got this communication. 
Or this already happened. At the bottom, we have new love. They want new love with you. They are still attracted to you. Wow. And look, we have worth waiting for. Hey. So we have really good energy. Like I said, we have really good energy around this person. Okay. For some of you guys, I just, like I said, they were just caught up in a karmic situation. I thought they didn't have their head on straight. Okay. Like something was wrong. I don't know why I just got this. This is random. I don't, you guys used to clip their nails. Or somebody has a thing with like nails. Someone has a thing with like clipping nails and like nails being very clean or something like that. That's just what I got. Okay. I don't know if this person was like a mechanic. I don't know if their nails got dirty, their hands got dirty. But I just, I just heard, like I just, I see a nail clipper. And like clipping nails. I can hear the click. Like click, click. Like with the nail clipper. I don't know why. So maybe that's a message for somebody. Alright. So um, yeah. This definitely is worth waiting for. Alrighty guys. So that is what I have for you for the weekend. Now is all of this going to happen over the weekend? No. It's not. Alright. Because sometimes I'll do the weekend reading and you guys will email me. Email me and like is this going to happen over the weekend? It's. This can be playing out in your life now. It could be about to play out in your life. Um, soon to be playing out in your life. Okay. Everyone's different. Energy is fluent. Do keep that in mind, guys. All right. Um, there is something else I was going to say. I forgot. Have a dope ass weekend, guys. Happy Mother's Day again to all my beautiful ladies out there. I love you all. XO, XO. Um, if you guys um, resonated with me, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. I am closed for phone readings. I'm already booked for May and for the first half of June. All right. I'll let you guys know if I open back up phone readings. All right. I love you guys. Bye, loves.